Tomotomo News presents Electric Cars. Solar-powered roads could power the entire U.S. Idaho-based Solar Roadways is hoping to build solar-powered roads that will not only provide power but will also create digital driving services that can be remotely controlled. Solar Roadways says if installed nationwide in the U.S., their roads could provide more renewable energy than the entire energy the country uses. Solar-powered roads by Solar Roadways are comprised of hexagonally shaped panels that consist of four layers, a base layer of recyclable materials that is placed on the ground, a support structure with embedded circuitry, LED lights that collect sunlight and convert it into electricity, and finally a top layer of reinforced glass with traction support for vehicles. The panels can support trucks weighing up to 250,000 pounds or 115,000 kilograms, and the lights can be remotely controlled to provide guidance to drivers or to reallocate spaces in a parking lot. Electric vehicles will be able to use mutual induction technology to charge while driving. The panels also contain heating elements connected to the electricity grid that can melt snow and ice that forms on them. An attached cable corridor helps store and treat stormwater while also providing a place to store power and data cables. The cost of the solar panels can be covered primarily through the generation of electricity, which can also power connected homes and businesses. Solar Roadways estimates there is about 31,000 square miles or 80,000 square kilometers of usable road surfaces in the U.S. that could be converted into solar-powered roads. Solar Roadways received a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build the prototype in 2009. Now they are hoping for $1 million in funding in order to begin mass production of the road. Tesla's new electric cars are going to hit ludicrous speeds. Tesla Motors announced a battery upgrade on Tuesday that sees the company claiming the title of the world's fastest car in production. Tesla's new battery will bring the high-end version of its Model S sedan from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, shaving 0.3 seconds off its current acceleration time. The new battery extends the driving range of the vehicle to 315 miles. Meanwhile, high-end versions of the Tesla Model X crossover car can now accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. The new battery extends the driving range of the Model X to 289 miles. Both the Model S and the Model X hit top performance in a mode that Tesla calls ludicrous, and it's not hard to see why. At 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, the Model S is now the third fastest car in the world and just slightly slower than million-dollar supercars, the Ferrari La Ferrari, and the Porsche 918 Spyder. The new Tesla cars with ludicrous mode start at $134,500, which is not cheap. But Tesla boss Elon Musk says electric is the future, and the high-end vehicles are helping to fund development of the Model 3, which retails for $35,000 up. Apple drives into the electric car market with the Titan i-minivan. Forget wearable tech, Apple is looking into drivable tech with its new project codenamed Titan. Move over, smoking hot Tesla drivers, a new Apple electric minivan is in the building? Apple has assigned several hundred employees to develop an i-minivan that will no doubt integrate all the great things about Apple, like simplicity, security, mapping, and other Apple apps. We can also expect quite a few bells and whistles in the i-mini van that will surely come at a price. But there could be several model options. No word on if it will use the lighting connection. <laughs> the race for the electric car just got a little bit more interesting. 
Elon Musk's hot-ass Tesla cars dominate the field now, but Google's self-driving cars could be a hit. What's next for Apple? An iPlane? Israeli company wants to build electric roads that can charge buses and cars. Imagine if you could charge your electric car or bus simply by driving. That is the vision of Israeli company Electrode. Electrode has designed a system that charges electric vehicles by embedding energy transfer coils in the road. As a vehicle such as a bus travels over the coils, its battery is charged wirelessly. Electrode claims it can lay two kilometers of energy transfer coils in a day. Road is dug up by one machine. The coils are laid. Then another machine buries the coils under bitumen. Roadside equipment helps to monitor electricity usage. Electrode hopes to begin testing the system with a public bus in Tel Aviv. Time to go electric. Britain will ban all sales of new petrol and diesel cars from 2040 in order to reduce air pollution, a move that could potentially revolutionize the automobile industry. UK authorities say diesel emissions have been poorly controlled and diesel vehicles contribute an overwhelming amount of nitrogen dioxide to outdoor air pollution, which is reportedly linked to about 40,000 premature deaths in the country annually. In order to tackle air pollution, the UK government will ban all sales of new petrol and diesel cars by 2040. Hybrid vehicles will not be included in the ban. Electric cars currently only account for less than 5% of new car registrations in the UK, while the majority of the sales are still of cars run on petrol and diesel. There are more than 4,500 locations with public charging points installed in the UK, but industry experts warn more infrastructure would be needed to cope with the change. France also announced it is ending the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2040. At the city level, Paris, Madrid, Mexico City and Athens have all announced plans to ban diesel vehicles from their city centers by 2025. Malaysia debuts first electric car sharing program. Malaysia's first electric vehicle car sharing initiative will begin in August in Klang Valley, an area that includes the capital Kuala Lumpur and its suburbs. Cars in the program will include, among others, the Renault Zoe and the Renault Twizy. The first phase of the program expects the placement of 30 to 40 electric vehicles in selected hotspots in the Klang Valley. The plan also includes EV charging providers, EV fleet operators, parking management operators and telecommunications network operators. Once the Klang Valley plan is fully operational, another 20 to 30 electric cars will be made available in the Langkawi Islands. After the second phase, more cars will be introduced in Malacca, Johor Bahru and Penang. By 2020, 3,500 electric cars will be available for sharing across the whole Malaysian peninsula. The program is aimed to reduce traffic congestion as well as lowering fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emissions. New quiet car rules aim to prevent injuries. Electric vehicles and hybrids must give off an alert sound at low speeds under new quiet car regulations finalized by the U.S. government on Monday. New U.S. federal rules require quiet cars to emit alert sounds at speeds of up to around 19 miles per hour. Electric vehicles and hybrids must be fitted with external speakers that will help alert pedestrians, cyclists, and the blind to their presence. The alert sounds are not required at higher speeds because other factors, such as tire noise and wind noise, are sufficient warnings. According to the government, hybrid vehicles are 19% more likely to be involved in a pedestrian crash than gas-powered vehicles. It's estimated that by 2020, the new rules could prevent 2,400 injuries a year. All new hybrid and electric vehicles must be designed in compliance with the rules by September 2019. But the government has not specified what the alerts must sound like. Modular electric car goes off-road in Africa. Designers in Germany have unveiled an electric car custom designed for rugged African terrain. The A-car is an all-wheel drive electric car with seating for two. The vehicle can be charged in seven hours from a regular household wall socket. The A-car has a range of 80 kilometers and a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. 
Solar panels on the roof can collect energy throughout the day to keep the car running. The car is designed for multiple functions, such as transporting cargo or to help provide medical care in remote areas. The first prototype was tested on roads in Ghana in July. The team will present their new prototype at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt in September. U.S. designates electric vehicle charging corridors. Taking your electric car out further than work or a nearby shopping mall is about to get a lot easier, thanks to a new initiative launched by the Obama administration. The U.S. federal government plans to establish 48 electric vehicle charging corridors across the country to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. The 48 corridors will be designated by the Department of Transportation. They will cover nearly 25,000 miles, crossing 35 states and the District of Columbia. The plans call for either an existing or a planned charging station within every 50 miles along these corridors. New signs approved by the Federal Highway Administration will help drivers identify and locate these charging stations. The signage and placement of charging stations at 50-mile intervals will help overcome what analysts call range anxiety, one of the main barriers to using electric vehicles for longer trips. Electric cars such as the Volkswagen e-Golf, Chevrolet Spark, and BMW's i3 can travel only 80 miles on a single charge. Among the 48 vehicle charging corridors are Interstate 5 from San Diego to the Canadian border, Interstates 10, 20, 30, 35, and 45 in Texas, and Interstate 80 from Nebraska to New York City. South Korea rolled out the world's first network of roads that power electric vehicles as they drive. The power is wirelessly delivered by cables below the road surface via a technology called shaped magnetic field in resonance. The bus is equipped with a small battery, which is about one third of the size of a battery in a conventional electric vehicle. A pickup coil underneath the bus receives the frequency from the cables, producing AC electricity. It is transmitted via a regulator and power distribution unit into the battery, which then drives the motor. The network is currently 24 kilometers long. Ten more buses will be added to the existing two in the network by 2015. Subscribe now and never watch boring news again.